Hi, and welcome to Music Creator 6. Music Creator is a fun yet powerful way to create and record music on your computer. In this tutorial, I will introduce the Quick Start dialog. When you run Music Creator, the Quick Start dialog automatically appears. Quick Start will help you learn Music Creator, start a new project, or open a project you started before. Quick Start also includes fast access to help and support. If for some reason you don't see the Quick Start dialog, just click on Help in the menu and select Quick Start, and it'll come right back. Now let's get started. First, we have Watch Video Tutorials. Music Creator 6 includes six video tutorials. Just select the tutorial you want to watch, like Recording Audio, and click the button next to this feature. That will launch the Help file, and the video will be ready to play. Keep in mind, to see the videos, you'll need to be online with an active internet connection. Now the next feature is Open a Demo Project. There are several demo projects that will demonstrate various features of Music Creator 6, and they're a great learning experience as you're getting started. For instance, if I choose the first one here from John Levy and then click this button, it will load that project. This dialog box just allows you to give it a different name if you'd like. All these things you can leave to the defaults and then click OK. In a few seconds, it will open the project. Then from here, you can just use the transport controls, stop it, rewind it. Right now, we're just going to close it. And then to get back to the Quick Start dialog box, just click Help, Quick Start, and we're right back there. Now, the next feature is Create a New Project, probably one of the most important features in the Quick Start dialog. We will come back and cover this in a little more detail in a few minutes. We can also open a project. If we click Open a Project, we'll bring up a typical Windows file browser. Now, by default, Music Creator will store all of your projects in a folder called Cakewalk Projects, and you'll see they're organized here into folders. For instance, if I double-click Quick Start, and you can see the Quick Start project is in here. The CWP file is the project file. If I click here and then click Open, it will open that project. Now, for now, I'll just close the Quick Start song. I'll just go back to Quick Start from Help, Quick Start. Next, we have Open Recent Project. This gives us quick access to projects that we just recently worked on. Just click the drop down, choose from one of the things that you've recently worked on, and then click the Open button. Now, if you're just getting started and you don't see very many projects on this list, don't worry about it because Music Creator will automatically keep track of songs that you open and closed and add them to this list. So let's just try it. I'll click Quick Start, click Open, and here's the Quick Start song that we just opened in the last example. So I'm going to close this. We'll go right back to the Quick Start dialog and take a look at the Help section. These Help links include everything from setting up your sound card to help with registration to how to contact Cakewalk Technical Support. Just choose a Help topic from this list and then click the question mark and it will open in your browser. Now let's go back to Create a New Project. We're going to click this and actually create a project. Now the first thing we can do is give our project a name. I'm going to call it New Song. And you'll see in the location, the new song will automatically be stored by default in the Cakewalk Projects folder in a folder called New Song. This is completed automatically. I would recommend keeping this as a default. The audio path is set up under New Song in an audio folder. And this selection will make sure that it stores the audio in its own folder. I recommend you leave this on. Now, if you wanted to store your project in a different location or on a different drive, then you can click here and browse to a different location. I would recommend that you leave it in the default location and also leave this option set. Music Creator also includes several templates for different kinds of songs. Right now, I'm just going to choose the normal template and press OK. Now, here's our project. We've got eight tracks ready to go to record music. We're not going to get into that right now. So right now, I'm just going to save the project, which you do with this button right here. And then I'll close it with File, Close. And then we'll open the Quick Start menu again. And we've covered almost everything here except for one more thing. At the bottom, we have an option to show the Quick Start on Startup or not. I recommend you leave that on as you're learning Music Creator 6. And now you should have a pretty good understanding about how to create a new project and all the things you can do from the Quick Start dialog. If you need more help, you can try the help feature here. You can also access it from the toolbar up here or in the menu. And also, you can always hit F1 to access help throughout the program. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.